welcome everyone to my channel today we are going to solve previous year's question that is 2021 uh, which was asked in gmat acc 125 okay so now the first question is if 234 stands for 789 then 123 will stand for what now see understand if you look over here when you add 2 plus 3 plus 4 you get what 9 and the last digit of your answer is what 9 Apart from this, you will not be able to find proper correlation between 2, 3, 4 and 7 and 8. Okay. So, as of now, we are going to use this particular logic and let's see if it works out. So, 1, 2, 3. When you add all of them, you get what? 6. And let's see which answer has the last digit at 6. There is only one option. So, we are going to mark that option as your answer. Okay. Students, don't forget at the end of this video, I am going to put up a... DIY and you will let me know your answers in the comment section. Okay, I'll definitely let tell you whether you are right or wrong. The next one is if 468 stands for 81216, then 579 stands for what? Now, if you look over here, 4 and the first digit over here is 8. That means 4 when multiplied by 2 gets you 8. Now, 6 when multiplied by 2 gets you 12. But the next digit is just 1. But if you look, the next, the, the, this 1 is followed by 2. So, basically, the next two digits are 12. And 8, when you double 8, you get 16. So, basically, all the digits are getting doubled. So, 5 will be what? 1, 0. 7 will be 1, 4. And 9 will be 1, 8. So, let's see if we have that. No, we don't have any of the options with this answer. We have 1, 0, 1, 4. But it is 1, Seven. And we have 1, 0 and 1, 8 but in, in between it is 1, 3. So in such a case you will mark none of these. I hope you have understood this. Okay. Students at the end of this video I am going to put up a DIY question whose answers you can mention in the sorry that I already told you. But uh, definitely if you like the way I am uh, you know explaining these kind of questions then please please give a like to this video. Also if you want me to solve more of these kind of questions then please put a yes in the comment section. So that is something which I know that you are keen of uh, you know learning from me. Okay. So the next question is if xy is 600 then and a b c is 6 then what is g o plus d o. Now understand students when it comes to alphabets with numbers there are very few basic things which you need to know. Okay. Like you know a will stand for number 1 z will stand for number 27 26. Okay. So, there are few basic rules and if you want to have a clear understanding then the link of that kind of a video which I have already made okay, will be available somewhere on the top as well as in the description. Please go ahead and check it out because that is like super simple. Once you know these basic ground rules you will be able to solve any of the alphanumeric questions in matter of seconds. Okay. So, now over here we have x and y. So, now understand if z is 26 then y will be what 25 and if y is 25 then x will be what 24th letter in the alphabet and if you multiply these two okay so now look over here 24 into 25 you don't have to actually go and multiply we know 24 25 square is 625 so we need 24 into 25 so just multi mi minus 25 we know 25 square is 625 and we need what 25 into 24 so what we do is 625 minus 25 because 25 is one digit less than 25 right sorry 24 is one digit less than 25 so here your answer is what 600 right similarly we have a which is standing for number one the second letter which is b so it will be two and c is the third letter so this is three and when you multiply all three of them you get the answer as six correct now we have g so d is what d is letter four then we have E which is 5, F is 6, so C is 7. And O is letter number 15. O stands at number 15. There are few things which you need to remember like um, what is the number which is standing at 5, 10, 15, 20. So that will help you a lot when solving all these questions. Okay. So now what you do is you multiply these two and then you add them. Now please understand you can directly multiply 7 and 15 and 6, uh, 4, 4 and 15 or you can take 15 out, add 7 and 4 which is what 11, so 15 into 7, uh, sorry 15 into 11 will get you what 165, so that is your answer, okay, so now 
the next one this one is like super simple if you want you can take a pause and solve this one as well as this one also students i'm thinking of putting up one more question uh, over here uh, if time permits and um, like if there is space so here we have if 7 which is equal to 4 then 9 is equal to 6 and 11 is equal to 8 then 12 will be equal to what it's very simple when you subtract 3 you get 4 you subtract 3 from 9 you get 6 you subtract 3 from 11 you get 8 so you subtract 3 from 12 you will get what 9 okay see understand i always write down the direction in which things are going okay like this it is much easier because you know sometimes what happens is that if you do it the other way around then the answer comes out to be 15 and that is also an option so just to avoid that kind of confusion that kind of mess I prefer putting arrows or putting, uh, you know, like doing uh, a direction thing while solving these kind of questions. It's super helpful to me. See if it works out for you as well. Okay. So now there is something like a wheel over here given and they have given us few numbers. And so this is 14. Okay. And in that they are asking us to find one of the element which is empty. Okay. So now we have 5, 7, 12, 10 and 14. If you look over here, 5 when you double it you get 10 7 when you double it you get 40 so what should be happening over here we can we should have 6 when you double this you get 12 okay so your answer over here is option c okay like i said i'm going to put up two more questions one second so this was one of the question which was asked in last year's paper and this was also in asked in one of the paper i don't remember which one it was okay so we have to find out the odd man out okay i have not written the options because these are very simple you can directly do it okay so when you see this which you have we the first series is 6 18 27 20, 91 102 and 120 if you look closely all of them are divisible by 3 except for 91 so this is my odd man out okay similarly now next one we have 19 23 27 29 31 37 now if you look closely all of them are prime numbers except for 27 so that is my odd number okay students when it comes to series or uh, like finding the odd man out and all of that having knowledge of prime numbers is super important you need to remember what are your prime numbers and for that also there is a very easy trick to remember your prime numbers i'll put the link of that in the description as well as somewhere on the top do definitely go and check that out so now my diy for you is if 2 3 is equal to 5 3 4 is equal to 7 then 4 5 is equal to what your options are 10 option b is 11 option c is 8 D is 9. Do let me know your answers in the comment section. So that's it for today. I will definitely see you in the next video.